What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep. Sometimes you just got to take the time to smell the roses. Is that is that the saying? I'm not sure. You just got to take time to appreciate what you have. And that's what I'm doing this morning with this beautiful sunrise. It is 6.09 a.m. on day 31. We are officially a month into surviving down here in the tropics and uh, things are going well. We just got back from a crazy haul in the last episode. If we go over here and take a look at our, our supplies beach, I guess you could call it. I mean, look at all the boxes we now have. We've got a small army of boxes. We've got all kinds of clay here lashings, a huge pile of the fibrous leaves over here. We've got, um, I mean, what else do we add? We added all these buoys over here. We've got a bunch of rocks. We've got all of these vehicle parts that we're gonna turn into vehicles. We've got a new air tank that we've been hunting for for quite a while. All kinds of rations here. Overall, things are looking really, really good. Now what, uh, today, we are gonna be taking on this business over here. So we are gonna try to make ourselves a bit of a better farm. I want to do it Noah's Ark style and just have two of everything. So you guys know we've been growing like the PP here is really rare. So that's been good to us. Let's go ahead and excuse me. Is this broken? How, how did that give us so much PP? Are you serious right now? I've never seen it do that before. That's awesome. How much, uh, how much aloe is it going to give us three? I think I'm assuming that you get more based off of what type of plot it is. So you guys can see we've got two aloe plots here, but they're the old bad wood style. We're going to get rid of those. Let me go get my axe over here. Basically, we are going to turn everything into corrugated farms. We are going to completely max this out so we have the best farms possible. We're going to have two of every plant all lined up next to each other, and we're going to make things happen. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and break this plot real quick. I think you can. Boom. There it goes. Goodbye. Second aloe plot, I'm sorry, but you've got to go as well. All right, got all that, looks good. We can pick these kawawa fruits. Uh, I think we're looking pretty good on food and water, but we can eat a couple of these, because why not? And then, like we were doing before, ooh, we need to make sure we save one of these to be able to plant. Oh my goodness, that could have been really bad right there. But like we were doing before, we're going to uh, to take this thing out because it's time to go all corrugated or bust. So you guys know these, the, the, the wooden ones we had, you get up to four waters in reserve. This has like eight. So we're going to need way more water happening. What we're going to do is I'm going to bring this up. I already have all the materials we need and we are going to build a second water still over here on the beach. We're going to be making twice as much water. It's also gonna take twice as many fibrous leaves. So we gotta be careful about that. Hopefully it doesn't get out of hand. I, we'll be fine, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in, we're gonna to go to farming and we just need two pieces of corrugated metal to be able to make these corrugated plots. So I'm gonna say we need at least, I mean, at least three more. So we'll grab six. I'm trying to think of what we want. So we want two aloes, two PPs, two kawawas and then probably two potato. Actually, let's do one kawawa. Uh, let's do two kawawas and two potatoes. The problem is we don't want to take, let's do one kawawa and three potatoes. Potatoes are used to be able to make fuel and I think we're going to need, uh, need way more of those. So let's, how many do we have here? We've got enough to make two more. So to be able to do that, we're going to grab two more of these. So we're going to have two aloes, two peepees, one kawawa and two potatoes. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. All right, here we go. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna go to story farming. Looks good. Corrugated farming plot. We need a help. What's up? Good thing I got one right here. Chels, where are you at? No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, farming here. Corrugated farming plot. We're gonna see if we can put it right like this. Boom, looks good to me. All right, so we've got that. Then next up, we're gonna grab another one. Just kind of line it, line it up nicely, hopefully. Just like that, okay. Then we can do another one. They're kind of a little lopsided, but whatever, dude. If it gets the job done, it gets the job done. So we'll put one there. And then do we not have enough for one more? We don't have enough for one. We're gonna need one more. We need two more pieces of, uh, of corrugated metal. So yeah, we're gonna get this set up today. We're gonna get our farm all good to go. We may have to make some clay water bottles. So we're current like water skin thingy. This thing, it holds three water in it, but uh, the clay water bottles can hold five. So that could be pretty useful. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna get this figured out. I also think we might try fishing a little bit today, which could be kind of interesting. 
I'm excited for that, and uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll just see. We'll see how everything goes. So I'm gonna pick this thing up. Can't hold any more water. Maybe because it doesn't have anything planted. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we've got a PP there. Let's do another PP in here. We're gonna plant the PP, and then we can water it. This holds so much water. Oh my goodness. All right, so we've got that. Now I'm gonna pick this up. Next up, we're gonna plant a potato which these are spoiled, but I'm pretty sure you can plant spoiled plants. I'm like 90, 95% sure. I just realized we're gonna need two more plots here. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna say, hold on. Let's let's go get the, the new plots. I just wanna keep this organized. I wanna keep all of the, the specific things next to each other, just so it's easier to keep track of. So here we go. We're gonna have two more plots here and let's make it happen. So I'm gonna come this way. We're gonna craft a new farming plot. Put this one right like this. And then, what in the world? I thought we only grabbed two. Basically, we are gonna waste all of our corrugated scrap on this, but it's gonna be well worth it. We're gonna have a fully functioning, fully fledged farm. It's, it's gonna be amazing. All right, so we're gonna do one last plot, put it over here. Boom, looks good. Okay, so since, hmm, what do you guys think? I might put aloe back here, no? How should we do it? I'm gonna do three potatoes through here and then aloe, aloe, fruit tree. So we need our potatoes. Let's go ahead and throw this on the backside. We can water it with the water we have in here. Then we want potato, potato, then we want uh, the two aloes. So let's pick up two aloes and then the fruit. We can go with the aloes. We can plant this, plant this, and then plant our fruit. And bada bing, there it is, boys. Things are looking pretty good. So now what we need to worry about is making enough water to get all of these things watered. It's just gonna take a little bit of time and a little bit of running back and forth. But I'm gonna go back, collect, kind of wait it out a little bit. And uh, while we're doing that, I think we're gonna build ourselves a dock. I am a little bit nervous about this, dude. This is gonna go through like so many of these fibrous leaves to keep these things going. I mean, I guess once we get up to a certain number of like PP and stuff like that, I, if we have to let some of it die, that's understandable. We don't we don't want to go too crazy. I wish we could upgrade to the new game where you can farm the, the yucca plants because that would make things 10 times easier. But unfortunately, I think we'd lose our island. So for now, this is just gonna, gonna have to be how it works. Looks good to me. We're all good. That stuff's gonna start growing. Now we're gonna go back. We're gonna grab a bunch of wood and we're gonna make ourselves a little dock. We're gonna make ourselves a fishing rod and we're gonna see how that all works out. Shoot, dude, we're gonna have to go for another stick run here pretty soon, I've got a feeling. So I'm just gonna grab as many of these as we can. Unfortunately, in our last episode, we went out pretty far, but we never actually uh, got any wood. We were focused on other stuff. So I'm gonna drop this here and then we need to pick up a hammer, which is gonna be right over here somewhere. Refined hammer. We're gonna build a dock just off of our house. So I'm gonna say, let's put it, I'm gonna go with wood foundations. I'm gonna say, let's, let's put it, put it here. So I'm gonna put that down. And basically we're just gonna build foundations out into the water. Oh gosh, that's a driftwood foundation. My bad, that was stupid. Basically, we're just gonna build this thing straight out into the water. It's gonna be a place we can fish from. It's gonna be a place we can pull our raft up to. It's, uh, it's gonna be kind of a cool addition. I'm gonna get rid of this because it doesn't really match everything else that we're going for. And um, and yeah, basically we are just gonna gonna make ourselves a nice little dock. So I think uh, I think it's gonna take a minute. We could, uh, we could probably time lapse this. Does the lighting look really weird to anybody else? I'm coming back here for a few more sticks to extend our dock and I, I can't tell if there's some crazy hurricane or something about to come. Dude, it looks so odd. All the birds are flying around. It could just be my PC just acting weird, but I'm not sure. Let's build a, a little staircase right here. We're gonna need a lashing for that. Yeah, dude, this looks so weird. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I may even restart the game because it, it looks odd, but let's at least finish this dock and then we can work from there. It's got like a weird yellow hint to it. You know what I mean? Like a, a yellow tone. Okay, so we're gonna make these wood steps. Put it right there, looks good. So eventually if we want to, we could put a doorway on this side of our house and then that could be like a way into it. But yeah, I'm gonna extend this maybe two or three more. Two might be enough, I don't know. I just want something that goes deep enough. Actually, we kinda, we kinda need to get to the edge of the, the reef. If we don't get to the edge of the reef, it's not, we aren't gonna be able to get deep enough to catch the good fish. 
I was hoping to be able to fish off the edge of my dock, but I didn't think about that. We need like four more to get out there. This is gonna be the world's longest dock, dude. Okay, so I, I reloaded it. Maybe it's just cause it's like towards nighttime. I, it just looks weird. Am I crazy? Did it did it change? I'm, I might be a little bit crazy. I'm not sure, dude. All right, anyway, here we go. We're gonna come out here, more wood, por favor. And uh, we're gonna keep building off the edge, hopefully to the edge of that reef over there. So what I'm thinking is like, you know, the, the cod we started catching recently, going out on our dives and stuff. It'd be nice to be able to just straight up fish for it off the end of the dock, but I don't even know if that's, if that's possible. It might be more efficient to just dive down and get it ourselves, especially with the length. <laughs> that we have going on of this dock, dude. Oh my goodness. All right, so we pretty much made it to the edge here. I think that's good. Boom, looks good to me. Bit of a long dock, but uh, I think what we can do is let's go back over here. I'm gonna make a fishing rod. We're gonna hop on our raft. We're gonna pull her around and um, we'll kind of try to tie it up to the dock, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. So what do we have here? We still got some wood left. I'm gonna try to save as much as we can. You guys can see the wood situation is, is looking a little bit sad over here. But um, what do we have to be able to craft a fishing rod? We need three lashings, three sticks, and a bobber. Okay, so we'll grab three sticks. We need three lashings. And then we need one of these to make a bobber. We just got these in the last episode, which is kind of exciting. So we can come in here, we can make a fishing bobber, maybe. There it is. And then we can come down here and we can make ourselves fishing rod. Where is it? Right here. Fishing rod. Okay, now we got a fishing rod and bobber. Nice, I love it. Sweet. So now we could see if we could catch some fish. Actually, hold on a second, we forgot our raft. So if this works out, the benefit of this is gonna be that like we don't have to pull our raft up on the beach every time. We don't have to worry about running into the starfish and stuff. We can just kinda, you know, pull up, jump onto our dock, which I just realized m might be too high. <laughs> oh no, dude, I'd be so sad. That would be painful. Oh, I really didn't think about that. We're gonna wanna lower dock. We might be able to jump up to it. We'll see what happens. Oh no, this, this was misjudged. This was misjudged. Drop the anchor. Oh no, we're good. We're okay. Yeah, we can drag this thing more like that. Look at that. So now we can just straight up pull out or honestly, it, it, should, it should be the other way. Oh, 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 that's not good. Yep, let's flip it. Just like that. So now even better, rather than every time that we want to go out and go off somewhere, instead of having to drag it out in the water and flip it around and everything else, we can just hop down onto it, lift the anchor, and away we go. So I feel like that's uh, I feel like that's kind of cool. Looks like it's getting dark outside. I'm gonna say let's let's wake up and go for a nice morning fish. We kind of spent a lot of time today trying to trying to build this thing. So uh, I, I wanna be able to see what I'm doing when we're fishing. So we're gonna go for a nice little morning fish. We're just gonna take it easy, do a little bit of farming. I'm sure most of our, our water reservoirs here have kinda picked back up and uh, we can keep on hydrating these beautiful plants that we have going on and hopefully have a good day of fishing in the morning. Look how sick that looks, dude. Oh my goodness, I love it. We've got a giant dock leading out there. I mean, we could, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff we could do. We could kind of have one branch off and come this way and make little slips for different rafts and boats and stuff. I wish we could put a, uh, I wish we could, oh, this, it does have an anchor. Interesting. I'm gonna pull this stuff out and drop it because we don't really use this thing anymore. But uh, I feel like it could be kind of cool. Let's, let's grab this thing and let's, oh, no, nope, nope, nope. Let's head out. Just, just for old time's sake, dude. We gotta get it out in the, out in the surf, though. Come on. See, this is, this is what we're not gonna have to deal with anymore. Is like pulling stuff out, which is gonna be really, really nice. So let's operate this thing just for old time's sake. See what this is like. You guys remember when we had life like this? Pretty soon we're gonna say, remember what it was like to, to sail, because we're gonna have a boat motor in the near future. I actually think we might have a helicopter in the near future, but um. Yeah, dude, this this is how we used to get around town, huh? Kind of a uh, kind of a different, interesting thing. So I'm gonna go bring this in over here. We're gonna drop the anchor in a little bit shallower water, and this is just gonna be. I mean, is gonna be where we keep the vehicles, bro. We could even make like a giant helipad for once we get the gyrocopter off the edge of this thing. I feel like that'd be pretty sick. Okay, let's unoperate this. It's too shallow to deploy the anchor. Maybe we can deploy it over here a little bit. Part of me feels like we should just send this thing off, man. Just like, 
Goodbye. See ya. Just give him a, a sailor ceremony and just send him off the deep end. But uh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. Hopefully we can, we can anchor this guy over here. Let's see. It's not gonna let us. Okay. Well, sir, you're just gonna come in back to the beach with us. Hopefully. Come here. Come on. You're coming with me. Hopefully there's no... Dude, if there's a poisonous starfish in front of us, I'm gonna be so mad. I was really wanting to, to bring this and make it like a cool little marina for us, but it's it's not meant to happen. So we're gonna leave it over there for now, and let's go ahead and put our uh, put our little paddle back on. Okay. Looks good. So anyway, things are, uh, things are looking pretty solid. I've got my water skin here. We've almost got all of our crops completed. It's gonna be nice. I mean, it was... Honestly, it was kind of a grind to get them to this point, but it should be easier going on. We won't have to water them quite as much. Boom, boom, boom. Looks good. And then I think with that, everything is fully watered. So uh, that's solid. Go ahead and drop that. Let's make sure these are always, always fueled up all the way. Do the same thing for the one back here. Depending on how this works, we may have to make more runs to the local islands to get more of these fibrous leaves just because we definitely don't want to run out of them. But uh, this is a uh, this is a good spot for now. We've got water. We've got food cooking. All these should be smoked. Yep, looks good. Let me eat this and let's put this campfire out. Extinguish it. And here we go. We're going to try fishing for the very first time. Dude, this looks so nice. I like actually having like a, a legitimate home base with our own little dock and everything. This is amazing. Look at this, dude. Your boy is just going fishing. That's that's all we're doing. You love to see it. All right, here we go. First time fishing. See if we get a bite. Kind of bait him a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Don't want to reel it in. Fish got away. Shoot. Oh, another one on the line. Fish got away. Gonna kind of bait him a little bit as he, he waits off. We can kind of reel it in as he starts tugging on the line. Shoot! The line broke and we lost our bobber. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm a little bit confused as to how this works. I understand how fishing works. Like, I understand that you want to kind of like bait the fish in, tire them out. You don't want to pull on it when they're giving you a lot of tugging. Otherwise, you, you lose it and the line snaps. I'm not sure what the button combos are though. So here we go. Let's go ahead and cast again. This is reeling in. Here we go. So as soon as he starts pulling, we're gonna let off. Reel in, let off, reel in, let off. Let him off here. Reel him in a bit. Caught a small fish, nice. What'd we get? A sardine. <laughs> we just spent that much time fishing for a sardine, dude, what? All right, let's try this again. Keep it in the deeper water. We may need to extend the, the dock a little bit. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's a big boy. Let off, let off, tire him out. That, this is a big boy. As soon as he starts pulling, kind of let off, let him, give him a little bit of slack. Maybe. Caught a medium fish, what'd we get? Ah, what is this thing? A discus. Nice, all right, we're doing pretty well so far. Now, my goal was to be able to catch cod. Maybe we can't go deep enough to catch cod, I don't know. Pull this guy in. Caught a small fish. That was a sardine. I may try extending the dock a little bit. Ooh, that one got... Oh, no. Is our bobber still on there? It is. Here we go. Got another one on the line. I hope we can't catch a shark. Or actually, maybe that'd be kind of cool. To be completely honest, so far, we caught a medium fish. It's probably the same thing, right? Yeah. So far, it seems like it's a... I mean, it's, it's fun. I like fishing. It seems a little unnecessary. I feel like taking the little fishing spear out there and doing our own thing is going to be way, way more effective. Maybe we need deeper waters. I mean, we could take, one day we could take our raft off and like go out and deep sea fish a little bit, possibly. I don't even think they're biting anymore. Interesting. Well, I mean, oh shoot, that's not good. When you switch, it gets rid of your bobber. We got it. Um, interesting. Okay. I mean, it's a way to get food. I kind of suspected it wouldn't be all that great, but I wanted to try it out nonetheless. Shoot, next time we park this raft, we gotta bring it a little bit closer, I think. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna take our take our fish from today. It wasn't a bad a bad haul. That's gonna be enough to feed up feed us for the day. So we can't be upset about that. We're gonna go back. I think the last thing I want to check here is I want to see our our fish trap. You guys remember we set that fish trap out here? We put it in a little bit deeper water. Ultimately, I think that would be the best if we had like a bunch of bird snares. And then a bunch of fish traps set up that were constantly just working for us while we weren't worrying about it. That would be the best. But it looks like this guy is still not really working. 
So I'm going to bring them a little bit further out. I mean, you just got to keep trying, you know what I mean? I feel like this little shelf right here might be kind of interesting. I see some cod swimming by right there and some lionfish, so that, that could potentially help us out. Anyway, I feel like that's a, a good chill episode for today. I know it wasn't quite as crazy as some. I know we, we kind of stayed around the, the home a little bit here. This is definitely something we had to do. We had to get this farm cooking. We had to get, uh, I mean, we didn't have to do a fishing rod, but I kind of wanted to. This is going to be good. So we just got to wait for this stuff to grow. As the potato grows, we're going to pull up the potatoes and then replant them in these two, rewater those and everything. And uh, it, should, uh, it should be pretty good for us. So we've got a brand new farm. We've got a brand new fishing rod and stuff. I'm going to go leave this on the end of the dock in case we ever want to fish. I don't know that it's really the most effective thing, but uh, overall, I feel like this is a pretty solid episode. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.